As a filmmaker, I just see other things. I'm like, oh, I should have done it like this. Oh, I should have done it like that. I'm always tweaking it. Aquaman. Yes. It's been a big journey. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> long journey. Long swim. Um, how does it feel to see the final result? I literally, literally just finished the movie a couple of weeks ago, so... Uh, it's still fresh. It's still super fresh, so, uh, you know, I usually like to kind of give myself a bit of time, and then, uh, you know, like, usually after I finish a movie, I don't want to watch it for a long, long period. Um, and uh, and then, then when I do finally watch it again, uh, get around to seeing it, I, uh, I have a sort of a newfound appreciation for it. Uh, if I see it too quickly, as a filmmaker, I just see other things. I'm like, oh, I should have done it like this. Oh, I should have done it like that. I'm always tweaking it. Permission to come aboard. Horror is a big thing for you, so how was it going? I know obviously you did Fast and Furious, but mm -hmm. how was it going into such a big um, film with such a big reputation? It wasn't difficult from a technical, from a transitional standpoint. Um, I love movies, I love all kinds of movies, and to me this is just, you know, it's no different to making a horror film. Um, you know, the process of making movies is pretty much the same, you know create characters that people care about, you know, come up with engaging stories that people want to follow your heroes, you know, through. And so the uh, storytelling aspect of it is the same. The only big difference here is just bigger toys to play with. And how is that when, obviously, a lot of work is done afterwards, so how difficult is that when you're directing? Um, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, so much of the movie is, you know, shot in um, incomplete sets or blue screens and, uh, and you know you uh, kind of need your actors to kind of trust you that uh, that when it's all said and done at the end, when it's all been put through the filmmaking process, it's going to look really amazing. It's going to look really cool, and it will be a wonderful world. Um, you know, one of the things I try to do is uh, is do a lot of planning early on, design the world, and that's the part that I actually enjoy the most, designing the aesthetic and the world for for this movie. You know, and, and, and everything. You know, like the the um, the machines, the ships, the the creatures, and even down to the characters' costumes and. Uh, and you know, it was for me. It was like a kid in a candy store designing this, <laughs> and then sharing it with um, the crew and the actors, and saying, "Guys, this is the journey that we're going to be going through. So let's have fun doing this." I've been looking for you. Your half brother, King Orm, is about to declare war upon the surface world. The only way to stop this war is for you to take your rightful place as king. In the film, Aquaman has a seahorse or sea dragon that he rides. <laughs> King Orm has the, um, it's the Tylosaurus. King Orm has a Tylosaur, yes. If you could ride an animal of your choice, what would it be? Uh, if from the movie, I think actually the Tylosaur would be incredible. Or oh, Willem uh, Dafoe's um, Hammerhead Shark would have been a yeah, cool one too cool. as well. I have no leader. I came because I have no choice. I came to save my home and the people that I love. What is your favorite thing about going to the cinema? Well, I love going to the movies for the communal experience, you know, especially um, coming from, uh, you know, from my sort of horror movie background. I actually find like my movie plays best, you know, with lots of people in there in a dark room watching it, you know, uh, if something scary comes along, they scream. And then if there's something that really suspenseful or, or tense, you can kind of feel them sort of shifting in their seats. And, uh, and if something's funny, you hear them laugh. I think um, that communal experience is what sets going to the movies apart from watching these movies at home, right? You don't have that collective feeling. And uh, and I think it's a very sort of primal thing that we have. You know, uh, I think it goes back, way back to our sort of our ancestors telling, you know, stories around a campfire. Um, and I think this is the modern version of that. And I think it's a, it's a really fun process. And it's one that I hope, uh, you know, it would be cherished for a very long time. The war is coming to the surface. And I'm bringing the wrath of the Seven Seas with me.